A mathematician is someone who has extensive knowledge of mathematics and uses it to solve problems. In this video, we're gonna go over what mathematicians do, the job market for mathematicians, how much money mathematicians make, and the top five metro areas for mathematicians. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel bringing you the latest, most up-to-date information on different careers. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, tap that like button to support this channel. Mathematicians develop new mathematical rules, theories, and concepts in areas such as algebra and geometry. They apply these theories and techniques to solve practical problems in business, engineering, and the sciences. Mathematicians create models to analyze data. Many mathematicians are engaged in higher education, teaching both undergraduate and graduate courses. They can work on teams with many other professionals, including various types of engineers, scientists, chemists, and many different kinds of business people. Mathematicians work in a wide variety of industries. 40% work for the federal government, 19% work in higher education, 15% work in research and development, and about 5% of mathematicians work in consulting. So the majority of mathematicians work for either the federal government or in higher education. Next, let's take a look at the job market for mathematicians. And if you're interested in this as an occupation, you definitely wanna see this. There has been quite a bit of volatility in the number of mathematician jobs. In the year 1999, there were 3,450 mathematician jobs. By 2018, the government recorded 2,580 jobs for mathematicians. So over this 20 year time period, mathematicians lost 870 jobs. But also check out this volatility. There's many periods in time over the past 20 years where jobs were going up, jobs were going down, jobs were going up, and jobs were going down. So there's been quite a bit of job volatility for mathematicians over the past 20 years, and job growth has been pretty limited. The question is, will this continue? Next, let's take a look at what the government is forecasting for mathematicians over the next 10 years. The government is actually fairly optimistic. Despite the past 20 years of job volatility, the government is estimating a job gain of 26% or about 800 jobs for mathematicians from 2018 to 2028. The average occupation on the other hand is expected to rise by 5%. So despite the past 20 years of job volatility and job losses, the government is fairly optimistic about the next 10 years. Next, let's take a look at what mathematicians earn. In 1999, the average mathematician was making on average $67,970. By the year 2018, this average wage had risen to $104,870. So wages rose for mathematicians by $36,900 over a period of 20 years. Surprisingly, the average wage was recorded as higher in 2015 and 2016. In 2015, the average wage was recorded as $112,600. So despite job volatility and losses, mathematicians still make pretty good money. But here's the thing, mathematicians in certain industries actually make much more than mathematicians in other industries. This next chart is showing the average wage for mathematicians across different industries. Mathematicians in consulting on average make the most money with an average wage of $116,210. The second highest paying industry is the federal government with an average wage of $113,230. Research and development is number three, followed by higher education. Mathematicians in higher education make far less than the average with an average wage of $61,440. This is almost half of what mathematicians make in consulting. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for mathematicians. The average wage for mathematicians is about $105,000 per year, but certain areas of the country on average pay more than this. Also, because there are less than 3,000 jobs for mathematicians, certain areas of the country are not open to them. All of the white areas in this map have little to no jobs or there is just no data. You can probably guess that there are no jobs in Alaska, Hawaii, and vast parts of the country. So here are, in my opinion, the best five metro areas for mathematicians. And this list considers cost of living, number of jobs, and the average salary. Number five is the New York metro area. There's 160 jobs, and the average wage is 100,960, which is a little less than average. Number four is the Baltimore metro area. There's about 60 jobs and the Baltimore wage is $104,930. Number three on this list is the Philadelphia metro area. There's about 90 jobs, and the average wage is $106,920. Number two on this list is the Seattle, California metro area. There's about 80 jobs, and the Seattle average wage is $138,860. And the number one best metro area for mathematicians, in my opinion, is the Washington DC metro area. There's 260 jobs, which is more than any other metro area across the entire United States. That includes New York, that includes LA. 
And also the average wage is $138,900, which is $34,000 above the average, which again is $104,870. Are you interested in becoming a mathematician? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.